even a good chunk of data out there showing like the average time of, of matches played on PS2. Some people are kind of going against it now. Um, but with that said, I still like the stage. And a lot of people do as well. But we're going to be starting on Hazardous yes. Smash Villain already off to the start. I was about to say, if that was Lindling, he'd be dead right now. <laughs> but now we got Blazing Fossils here already with a pretty strong start. But Light Force picking Ness, which probably I don't, wouldn't name like that. Not Ooh, too crazy. I love the wait by Blazing Pasta there. Didn't commit too heavily to an option and got him off stage for it. Okay, you see that's the thing, trying to commit with those PK fires. But that's the hard part about Peach. She's going to be in the air a lot and very quickly. She gets up very fast. May take her a little while to get down, but she gets up very Ooh, fast. Ooh, that down smash at the edge looking kind of like melee. Like knives under there. Oh. But Pasta with oh. these combos. Oh. Pasta, oh. please. Let it play. Yeah, okay, Tiger Woods. He came Woods. here to meet his favorite oh, YouTuber. Oh, the booty <laughs> deep, deep in the blast zone, bouncing off of that one. Here we go. The catch again. No, Jesus, let my man play. Everyone here is trying to play a single player game. Oh Stop my God, it. Pasta. Let him pasta. play. <laughs> let him play the game, dog. Yikes. Oh my God, Pasta. Welcome to Smash. Look at this. Oh, this is all oh, Pasta. Chris. Pasta. Do you eat ass? Yup, you <laughs> eat ass. <laughs> you eat all this. <laughs> Slurp on that. Yikes. <laughs> all right, <laughs> so the yeah. bands for <laughs> the bands for Blazing Pasta are Kalos and uh, you know, a Pokemon League. Oh my God. What do you do? I don't know, <laughs> what man. What do you do after that? <laughs> you, you go to battle. <laughs> you stop, you, you, you take a deep breath, you, you close your eyes, you imagine there's a feather in front of you, and you try to keep it afloat. That's, that was disgusting. That's what you got to do, man. Yeah. And we're going to see the character switch. Yeah. I go mean, to a sword character. Su surprised oh, that was in frame one. Oh, my God. I can't believe we were just witness to that. That was, oh, that was disgusting. All right. Off the battlefield we go. Pasta versus Life Force game two. And there we go, switching uh, to the Roy, which you know is a very smart pick, I believe. Peach has always struggled traditionally with uh, some of those disjointed characters. But granted, I do feel like in this game she has some of the strongest tools available to kind of put up with them. But still, uh, can find herself having the time here. We're going to see what Life Force has to offer with this Roy. And looking a little bit better than game one. Kind of got a little bit of the combos into the side B. Okay, the air dodge right through that up tilt and neutral air coming out from Light Force. Trying to find his way back, but Ooh. Blazing Pasta catching the recovery and nice. again, his edge guarding has been so immaculate this set so, thus far. For sure. I mean, oh. I mean, look at these heavy damage combos. And that's one of the biggest things as well. You want to make sure that when you're up against Peach or any character that has uh, the ability to spawn a projectile, that whenever you attack their shield, you're either doing it as safe as possible or you're just just grabbing. Because the thing is, you have less frame to throw a weapon out of shield than you would to, let's say, do an aerial out of shield. So it makes it very strong for Peach to pull and turn up, grab shield, and then uh, go to town. Right. Oh, Pasta wow. though keeping keeping life works pretty well on the edge. That back air or back throw not gonna kill quite yet. That's a nerf. Oh, sort of. Still gonna make it back though. But that back air is gonna kill. Mm -hmm. Pasta setting up pretty pretty nice and nice and easy on three stocks to one. But life force trying to get his first stock here needs this edge guard. Looking for that hit. There we go. The jab. Oh, I thought he was going to chase him down. I thought he was going to chase him down with the back exactly. air. Exactly. That's, that's what I thought as that's well. That's usually the cookie cutter uh, Fire Emblem sword fighter character. But it looked like that percent it might not even connect. I'm not really sure. But either way, couldn't find the KO. And now giving Blazing Pasta a chance to get some extra damage here. And that, oh, what do you call it? The double edge dance. Not going to kill. You know, it's the good sour spot. Right. Yep. Ooh, that's going to be a hit. Yeah. Pasta. Double three stocks. Yeah, back to back, like the, the cover lethal weapon. So my man not really having much of a chance there. And we saw uh, toward the end there, Blazing Pasta was blowing him up for a habit of double jumping out of hit stun. So right there, he just said he's going to double jump immediately. I'm just going to forward air him. And really, he had no options in that last scenario other than either air dodging, mm -hmm. uh, using that, uh, you know, that up B, or alternatively, he had to throw out the counter. Because right here, he used a double jump. What else are we going to do? You have to pick a defensive option or try right. to fight your way back down. He just did nothing. 